a woman thought by many to be no more than an iconic legend. Harriet Tubman was a conductor on the Underground Railroad. A set of slaves um, disappeared one night, and the thought when people woke up in the morning was they must have gone away on, on Underground Railroad. They so it was more of a, you know, everybody knew it was a metaphor for the secret way of, of people leaving. Um, one of our problems as tour guides, though, and things today is that people think there is a real Underground Railroad. Given name was Araminta Ross, so her name was Minty at that time. And so he tells Minty and this other customer in the store to hold Harriet while he, I mean, told the boy while he whips him. Harriet and him obviously have words. We don't know what those words were, but if you can just imagine being here and what happens next. So wet weights were sitting on the counter to actually weigh food. So he grabs up this two pound weight and he hurls it at that boy trying to stop him as he runs out the door. Well, he accidentally hit Minty in the head, and of course she fell on the floor. After she was hit on the head, from that time on, she suffered from what they called back then sleeping spells. We call it narcolepsy today. But she was one of the most incredible people who ever lived on the face of the earth. She was so wise and cunning, and she was just this little teeny tiny woman, but she used her mind and she changed the world. There's records of her and other men much stronger and bigger than her, them being extremely fearful in certain situations, but her with the confidence to go on. A lot of pearls that uh, Harriet Tubman uh, experienced, you know, dangers of, uh, of her life in so many situations, it made me think that my work really fit because it had drama. He masterfully captures events that forever change the tides of American history. Monumental works are at the University of Louisville. His studio, like the Underground Railroad, he chronicles, is open to all.